What's going on, everybody? Some days I just have those moments where I just gotta do videos. Do videos. It's like, I don't know why. It makes me happy. It makes me feel better. Take my mind off a lot of things. I guess it's part of my job as putting my cross on first is doing this. I'm sure you got something that God wants you to do too. Do it. Just do it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen and amen. You know, like, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that be on my mind lately in regards to preaching, preachers, this and that. You know, when I first started reading the Bible, I tell I said this before, I thought reading the Bible was going to bring me so many worldly riches and like I was going to go to hit the lottery the next day. Type, got the house, car, everything, like everything I could possibly imagine I thought was going to just come into my lap. But I noticed something when I gave my life to Christ. The exact opposite happened. I started losing a lot of things. Friends, house, cars, all these things. It's like he broke me down and started building me up. You understand? And the more I, while I was broke down, the more I read and the more I studied, the more I started seeing that the kingdom of God is more about your spiritual growth, about your inside, your soul, than about this material world that we live in. Am I saying I'm, I don't like I don't walk around and I might don't see a nice car I like, but like that's a nice car. Yes, I do. One thing about it, it's a lot of things pleasing to the eyes. That I mean I'm gonna get everything that's pleasing to the eyes. You understand? It's okay. That's a nice looking car. You know what I'm saying? It's straight. That's a nice looking house. I move houses for a living. I see all types of nice houses. Ooh, great, beautiful. Beautiful homes. And then I started reading more and more about the beautiful home that Christ has prepared for us. And how the deceitfulness of materialism can keep your mind off of the home that God, God has for us. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he made this place for us. But we messed it up. And he's making a better place. You understand? He's making a better place. And that's what we got to seek. When we start seeking material things all the time, I'm telling you people, if the Bible says where your heart will, where you cannot serve God and mammon, you got to really focus on what he's saying right there. Where your heart is, that's where your soul going to be. Let's say it's your heart. It's all you think about is, I'm going to get that new house. I'm going to get that pool. I'm going to get that car. I'm going to get that new business started. I'm going to get that. That's all you think about. You work yourself to death trying to get these worldly things think about where your heart is think about it your heart is already getting set and prepped by the enemy to want everything except the kingdom of God you see the enemy wants you to think that the kingdom of God is here there's something that can break down on you that new car can break down that new house can have plumbing problems that new house a storm can come through and blow it through you understand? The Bible does say this. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and all things will be added to you. Let me tell you something though. The more you seek the kingdom of heaven, the more you're going to start to understand, I need to be content with less. And if more come, so be it. You understand? Your mind is not going to be set on getting as many material things as you can if your heart is right with God. Your prayer is going to start lining up with God. Everything is going to work out just fine he balances you out you know the american dream is what white picket fence dog cat pool four bedroom house 2500 square foot the basics the american dream you see we need to transfer that american dream to the heavenly dream the dream the hope the faith that we have that we can be up there with christ not having to worry about none of this stuff no more you see, the enemy wants you working hard for these material things. Because he know that you can't take none of them with you. You can't. 
I didn't heard of people who didn't stay save the save up money for retirement. Quarter mile, turn left onto US saved up, saved up money for retirement, 401k, all these things. Then they quit, they work, they get ready, they finna sit back and relax. Then they die. Wow. They spent their whole life to try to set up a a plan for turn relaxation. Left onto US 90 East, Old Spanish Trail. A plan for relaxation. That's crazy. You know the plan for relaxation is? The plan for rest is eternal rest. You know that place that God has prepared for you. Continue on US in the sky. East for 15 miles. But God, but the Satan wants your mind prepared for all these earthly things. You ever notice how they come up with a new cell phone every three months? New video game system. New this is never gonna be enough in this world. Technology is constantly increasing. People even got brooms that don't even need a human being. Oh, you can just sit back and sit on your butt now. You got the rumba. Technology is going to stay increasing. But one thing that's not going to increase, your life expectancy. One thing you're going to do in this world is leave it. You're going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to sound ready to die now. I feel like I got work to do. But if God decides to take me, I hope I'm ready. Let's put it that way. You better be hope you ready. You see, that's the problem with the prosperity gospel. Yes, I'm talking about the dome today. That's the problem with the prosperity gospel. It keeps people mind off of heaven or hell. You know what keeps you balanced? Knowing that there's a heaven. And you know what else keeps you balanced? Knowing that there's a hell. And knowing that there's no such thing as an in-between. This is the in-between right here. Earth. Earth is the in-between before you got other two other destinations you can go to. Earth is. Earth is just the meeting plane. You can consider Earth purgatory. The preparation place for the final resting place of your soul. And what you do in this earth, how you live in this earth, gonna determine where you go. You, who you give your life to? You give your life to Christ? You're on the right path. You get your life to the world, you might be headed in the wrong path. But knowing that there's a hell, that's why people need to preach hellfire preachers sometimes. Knowing that there's a hell, prepare for those that don't love God wholeheartedly. You know that's what it's all about. And it's a heaven for those that love God wholeheartedly. Am I saying you can't be rich in this world? You can. But you better hope your heart is rich in heaven. Heavenly things. Because you can't buy your way in. You can't get there and be like, Lord, you know I made this and such such amount in. Irrelevant. Won't mean a thing to God. Where your heart at? He asks you, where your heart at? Is your heart with me? Or your heart down there? Now this is the crazy part it is. Hell is going to be here. Guess where heaven gonna be? Here too. Wow, ain't that amazing? But the thing is, when you saw heaven while you was alive, that's all you gotta see is heaven. I don't think, I just know for a fact. It's not like the people in heaven gonna be looking down, looking at those people burning in hell. I ain't studying hell, cause I'm in heaven. Why well, I wanna see something that's miserable? And then the people who miserable down there are gonna wanna see heaven and they can't see it. It's gonna be a gulf fix. It's gonna be a divide. People in heaven can't see hell. People in hell sure ain't finna see heaven. All glorious things done passed away. So if you live for them now, you get a chance. He said outside there will be weeping and that's the outside the gate. You ever, you ever uh, play with Legos? Before in your life, you ever uh, sometimes you gotta be like, I can't, I can't make the, uh, I can't make the castle on the platform that the Legos on, like the little Lego land platform. I gotta build, I gotta build the castle outside of it. Then I'm gonna place it there. Just gotta get everything right and put it in the right spot. 
What am I getting there? That's exactly what Jesus Christ is doing. He's building that heaven for you. It's already set up. The parameters are already made. The instructions are already there. He's building it. He's made it. He's making it. May still be making it. Oh, I already made it. Who knows? But he said he'd go to prepare a place for you. You see, I don't buy this talk about heaven that people claim to be heaven. This ain't no Simpsons type of heaven. You understand? If you ever watch cartoons and you ever watch movies lately and they show people going to heaven, it's like everybody make it. Like it's just a free pass. I wish it was that easy, but it's not. Because unrighteousness can't dwell in heaven. It can't. Only pure souls can go there. Everybody can't go. So it's got to be a place for all the unpure souls to go. Because you got to understand something, people. Eternal life is for all of us. But there's a catch. Eternal life can be in heaven. Or eternal life can be in hell. Hell, burn, pain, anguish, everything that you don't want. And sometimes you'll feel a little hell here coming to south around this time. <laughs> you might feel a little hell when you step out there, the sun hurts your eyes. Just imagine flames. It's gonna be so hot, the only light you're gonna see is from gonna be from flames. That's it. And if you go to heaven, the only light you're gonna see is be from God. That's the light. When you turn your when you lead to the dark side here, you banish yourself to everlasting darkness. And it starts here. You see, the world we live in, the evangelical preachers on the rise. They don't talk about hell no more. Go pick any, any major evangelical preacher right now and watch about 10 videos. I guarantee you, you don't hear about hell. And you probably ain't gonna hear about heaven either. You gonna hear about making your heaven here. Well, we can't make something here that God is making for us. Jesus is making heaven. Jesus is making New Jerusalem. How can I build something that he's making for me? Do you understand? So you think you can make your place here? You think you're a God? You're no God. Oh, you don't want to hear this. Why? Because it's not pleasing to you. You see, he's talking about the last days people are going to entice you through your own lust. That Satan is going to lure you in through what your heart desires. And your heart is going to desire worldly things if it ain't set on with God. Am I saying you might not buy you a video game here and there? Yes, you are. But it's your heart set on it. Where's your heart at? Waiting for the next high phone? You understand? Where's your heart? Where's your heart? And he says he's going to, they're going to take heed to seducing spirits with doctrines of devils now. Really think about what seduction means. It's not like you're going to be like, this is the devil's seduction doctrine right here. This doctrine is made specifically by Lucifer himself. If you want to be seduced by Lucifer, here's the doctrine. You know it's called seduction for a reason. Because it's going to seduce you. And it's going to fool you. And you're going to take heed. He said, this will, they will even fool some of the elect's sake. Let me tell you something, people. I watch a lot of videos in my, in my life so far In my walk with Christ And one thing I notice about a lot of These evangelical leaders They love to lead you somewhere <laughs> Oh I ain't know yet They love to lead you somewhere Hey so and so got a new book One of my professors who I was training under um, He got a new book out You need to go out there and check him out Look him up he's on so, so and so right there You need to check this book out Huh? What? Why do you even listen to this book for? If you're preaching right. Get out of here with that. They will love to advertise their friends. Then their friends will advertise them. And then little children keep yourself from idols. Start kicking in the plane. And it's like, why in the world? And they keep misleading me to all these other books. All this other doctrine. And you buying them. You're eating them up. Because you want a self-help book. You want a motivational guy. You want a, uh, a book to see you how to have success here. You want the 98 Laws of Power. You want a, whatever the, whatever books they got. They don't mean nothing. A book that teaches you how to get rich here is going to teach you how to get to hell. 
you, do you hear me what I'm saying? It's not talking about Jesus Christ. These books ain't talking about none of those things. I want you to think they lead to you. They, they got to. They paid to do it. They paid to lead you to other doctrine, seducing doctrine. They think, oh, this person, he was he was serving with Christ with me earlier in the year, and uh, he got a new book out. You need to check it out. Check this book out. This book is going to lead you to a whole nother level. I know a book going to lead me, lead me to a whole nother level. And it ain't made by no new author. It's been around. It was men moved with the Holy Ghost that wrote the Bible. And that's the doctrine I'm going to stick with. And I suggest you do the same. Unless you want to be seduced. Who likes to be seduced? How many people, you all watch movies about seduction? Or how many people have been seduced by anyone, period? During, during the seduction phase, you all happy. Oh, Lord. Hey, God. Oh, man. Then you start realizing it ain't what it is. And it do something to you. Get all angry and get upset. You understand? You should. Nobody likes to be seduced. Nobody. The devil does that. And his children do it. Seducing you. And you're letting them. You're letting them. You're following the American dream. And America's so dirty, they bring other people up. Come to the land of the free where you can do what you want. The land of promise. Land of promise, my tail. I know where the land of promise is. And it ain't, it don't make with, it ain't made with no well by a man. Hands. Period. But I'm not telling you people that God won't give you nice things. He said, your parents know how to give you good gifts, being evil. How much more so will your Heavenly Father give you good things to those that ask of Him? But you got to understand what the good things are. All right, all right. You got to understand what the good things are. You need to understand the good news. You need to understand the good things you need to be asking for. And then you'll wear out of rest is just bull. This just happened to come in your lap. That new car, it ain't that good. It just comes with the territory. It's just landed up there, huh? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Lord, keep pouring that Holy Spirit out on me. Keep teaching me how to heal. Keep teaching me how to exile demons. Keep teaching me how to help other people. Keep teaching me how to spread that word. Oh, all those, all those good things. Okay, are you going to use your good things for that? What are you going to use your car for? Oh, 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 the party, the splurge, splurge. Go around and show your, uh, your new family member, hey, look at that new car the Lord has blessed me with. And that's the only time you can mention the Lord for the rest of the gathering. Do you understand me? Yes, he'll give you good things. You being evil, know how to give good things to your kids. You better read between the lines. We being evil, know how to give evil things to our kids. That's what we know how to do. Because our hearts are set on evil. But you know what? Get your life right. Instead of trying to feed your, your kids the new game, you're going to start trying to feed them Christ. And then you're going to start seeing them talking about the Lord. You're going to start seeing them give praise to the Lord. You're like, whoa, Lord. Oh, the good gifts. Oh, I see. I see now. What's the use of giving you a video game for you can not even seek the Lord no more? What am going to give you a new house for? If all you're going to do is turn it into a party capital. I'm okay with your party. Not all the time, says the Lord. Oh, you don't think you don't think the Lord the you think the Lord has a problem with you having a good time. You are wrong. You can't have a good time on this earth. Within God's guidelines. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Study for yourself. You might figure it out. You might realize why you're so miserable. I'm talking to some of y'all Christians out there right now. But I'm not finished yet, people. I promise you I ain't finished yet. By the grace of God, I ain't finished yet. And I ain't saying God ain't done with me yet. When, my, when I take my last breath, you best believe he's done with me. And I can do it all I can do. But I can do it all I can stand. I stand there for having my... You already know what Ephesians I'm about to say. But anyway, people, get your mind right. Get your mind right. These earthly blessings. If your heart ain't right, that ain't gonna mean nothing to you. Just remember this. You can't take nothing with you. And also remember this. What you leave your kids, 
You ain't gonna know what they're gonna do with it anyway. Did you hear what I said? It's no guarantee your kids gonna do right. How many kings were left the kingdom by their fathers and misused it? History got a way of repeating itself. Especially if you ain't trained them the way they should go. How you expect them to do the right thing with your legacy? Oh, I'm going there today. They're going to do exactly what you do. But they could change. I ain't going to say that. Because generational curses can be broken. But like I said, it's a lot of people teaching their kids how to get rich. Go to college. Get you a degree, son. Get you a degree. Get you a degree. Get you a doctor. Doctorate. Get you a master's. How about get in tune with the master? And I pause and I will continue.